Here we are, main government building in town, Cyril de Marcon House. He doesn't live here anymore, he died some years ago. But let's go and have a look to see what does actually happen in this building. Well, here's the, uh, the main entrance. It's not very pretty, but it's, uh, it's a nice level entrance. But not a lot of information. It says it's open 10 till 5. But uh, not much else. Yes, it's a uh, nice level access. Automatic doors, no problem for anybody with disability. Enter the building, no problem. And we're into what we call the information center. Little bit of notice board space. Bit uh, minimal, not a great deal of space to show anything, but uh, better than nothing. Yes, this is the customer services center. Here, this is where the receptionist sits and answers questions. People who call in here, they've also got a, a call center where they answer questions from housing and TTS as their specialist departments that they deal with here. Thank you. There's a, a dispenser for leaflets, a rather random selection of leaflets. A few at the bottom there for scrutiny but just a couple of scrutiny leaflets uh, general tourism information honorary police information but not a great deal of space for all the information which is published these are the uh, interview desks if people want to discuss housing tts or any other matters just opposite the state's here, building of course in Royal square here's murier house now this is a very important government office but it's modern office, nice level access look so you can get uh, wheelchair users can get in there. But what is in there? What's the sign? Where's the information to tell you what on earth goes on inside this building? Well here we are, this is inside Moria House. It's the main entrance uh, lobby, bank accounts office that side. And the information centre here. Once you're inside it tells you what the opening hours are. Of course, it doesn't give you that information outside the building. Go into this nice little room. Quite a lot of scrutiny information on the walls available, most of it free of charge. Most of this is free of charge. Scrutiny information, reports, notice board there with not a great deal in it today. It was around rather quickly, make you all feel sick. comfortable area so you can sit and read interesting book there look, states members statements of interest file so you can see who owns what it's, uh, a recent innovation we're selling mementos of the states if you can't get enough politics you can have a pencil with the states of Jersey written on it and various things we've asked them to sell ice creams but they haven't started doing so yet children's corner and this is the, the counter with our staff. This is it. The States Assembly Information Centre. Just opposite the uh, Murrier House is the Royal Square. This imposing entrance we see here. Plenty of steps, very difficult for wheelchairs. But what is this building? Well, it says it's a bibliotheque, bibliotheque public, but it doesn't mean that, of course because it's the main entrance to the state's building royal court complex. Remote from the main entrance is this little sign, if you can find it, which tells you that that is the state's building. It gives you... Most important doorway on the main frontage again. No sign to tell you what it is. And alongside it, there's a very important notice board. Scrutiny panels, royal court agendas, it's all supposed to be on this anonymous notice board. Unlit boxes, reflective glass, too high, altogether unsatisfactory. At the other end of the state's building, another one of those very inadequate little signs giving most important information for wheelchair users and telling you where various entrances are but you've got to find the notice you've got to know where it is otherwise you won't know anything 
Of course, this is the most important entrance to the state's chamber itself. Steps, of course, so we can't have any disabilities going in there. But it's not really very clear when it's open, what goes on there. If you don't know that it's, it's the state's chamber, the public entrance, you would not know. Totally inadequate little sign box outside the state's chamber, public entrance. Just simply inadequate for the job. Yes, this is the entrance to the States of Jersey planning office. Probably the worst access to any public building in the island, which is what you'd expect from planners. They've got steps up there, of course, which uh, make it a total no-go area to people with mobility problems. There is a notice hidden away in there, which tells you uh, you can find it when the building is open, the opening hours. Uh, there's also some encouraging little leaflets in the window for those that can see them asking us to participate in the planning process but of course it's not quite that simple there's a strange notice over there which says on the wall planning and building services reception and points into the ground so obviously it's an underground operation well just alongside the planning office there's the transport and technical services department reception as you can see, they don't want anybody in a wheelchair going in there. They've got a notice just alongside the building, just hidden behind the bushes saying when it's open. Obviously, they don't want anybody to know when it's open. They've got a few signs there. Those unloading bays. There we are, so there's a transport and technical services department reception, but only those who can get up the steps.